Hey, welcome back at 846. Time for some Wine Wednesday. Tomorrow, we are celebrating the grand opening of Domaine Serene's newest wine lounge in beautiful Bend, Oregon. It is beautiful in Bend. Mm -hmm. All right, now this is the company's third wine lounge with world-class wines from Domaine Serene, Chateau de la Cree, and Maison. Oh, man, I'm not going to... You were going You were going. So I, I, can, you, can you say you this one? Uh, Evanstad. Okay, so you, yeah. you just pronounce it cleaner than I do. <laughs> Yeah, you, join. You, had, you were on a roll. I was, I was, on, a, I was on a roll. All right, joining us live now to talk more about it, CEO Ryan Harris. Good morning, Ryan. Thanks for being here. Good morning, Emily. Good morning, Travis. How are you both? Doing well. Doing, doing well. well. Excited to talk about some wine in the new location. Yes, Tell us about the new spot. Congratulations. Yeah. are in order. Well, thank you so much. Um, as you can see here, we've already been celebrating for the last few days, uh -huh. so uh, we're not missing a beat. But what's really exciting about the Domain Serene Wine Lounge here in Bend is that we can really open our doors, amazing bottles of wine that are award-winning, world-class wines uh, for anybody who lives here in Bend in Central Oregon or anybody passing through this wonderful town. Um, it's a completely innovative design here in the old uh, Sphere building, which was built in 1917. And uh, last year was the only building in Oregon to be added to the National Historic Registry. So incredible a uh, place to be representing our wines and uh, the build out's been spectacular. So we're pretty excited to open our doors tomorrow night. Uh, we've got a big grand opening event tonight and uh, we're gonna be enjoying some phenomenal wine, uh, great food that, that lifts and elevates that wine even more and sharing that with a lot of great friends and members. What a oh, venue. Yeah, that is so cool. And of course, you know, you're celebrating your grand opening here right before Christmas and the new year. It's a wonderful time to be welcoming people in. So do you have big plans for, for opening weekend and the holiday season? We do. It's in fact, it's snowing right now here in Bend and, and it's it's beautiful and white in town. Um, we, yeah, we've, we've had a series of events. Last night we had some, uh, some of the locals in from different restaurants. The, the community here in Bend has been just so inc incredibly inviting and welcoming to us. Uh, there's a lot of excitement about this new opening. And tonight we have uh, an event for our members, VIP and some media guests. And then tomorrow we are officially open to the public. So uh, we're, we're full the first night, but have a couple of reservations open throughout the weekend. So we'll have a fun set of festivities, um, special wines being poured, and a whole series of events really um, kicking off with New Year's Eve and running throughout the entire next year. So if you haven't uh, made a plan to come visit Bend and come check out the wine lounge, we hope you do or certainly any of our other wine lounge locations such as uh, Portland or Lake Oswego, where it's maybe a little bit closer to, uh, to the Portland metro area. Oh, well, may not be a bad time. You can always break away as long as you can drive safely through the passes. Mm -hmm. A trip down to Bend is, is an awesome, awesome call. Uh, describe the experience at, at all the lounges because you, you mentioned other locations as well uh, to go with this one. So what, 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 what is all encompassed in everything? Well, the goal with all these lounges is to have a different look and feel, but to always give an immersive wine experience to our guests. So uh, these are some of the best wines in the world. We're America's most awarded winery. And we believe that if we can present those wines to our guests with the perfect ambiance, some music in the background, a great, um, you know, a great feeling, uh, obviously, and, and wonderful food to help elevate that experience, the wine tastes that much better. So that's really been our goal um, to be able to give our members a special place to come to introduce new people to the wines and really have a place that they wanna come hang out, spend time and gather wine and dine. So whether it's uh, in the Sentinel Hotel at our first location or right in downtown Lake Oswego or here in Bend, that's really the experience you're gonna see. And uh, we find that people keep gravitating, sometimes come back three or four days a week uh, to the wine lounge. So it's, it's that fun place where you get to know people, you get to make friends and you fall in love with the wines. So uh, anyone of our location. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ryan, I don't know how you did this from all the way out in Bend, but uh, while we've been talking to you here, a special <laughs> delivery just showed up uh, to, to celebrate the, the grand opening. Thanks for sending <laughs> some bubbles over. So tell well, us about, know, uh, this is your sparkling Chardonnay. Tell us about it. Yeah, that's, it's a really fun wine. Um, that, you're some of the first to see that wine. Uh, it will be released officially on New Year's. So we have different events going on at all the different wine locations, including our clubhouse out in wine country where we'll be popping the first corks on that Blanc de Blanc, which oh my is goodness. really one of our very best sparkling wines. It's been aging in that bottle right there since 2014. So, oh, wow. that is exciting. Well, we're, we're excited to pop some corks here as well and celebrate your grand opening. I'm curious, <laughs> uh, now I know you got to take the cage off if you're, if you're going to do a little, little opening. Do you have any tips for how to really pop a champagne bottle or a sparkling wine bottle uh, like a do pro? Do I duck and cover? Yeah. Well, you know, 
it all depends on the mood you're in. A lot of people say open it as, as slowly and, and quietly as possible. But if you want to have a fun and tell everybody you're you're about to party, I, I say let it. Oh, fly. go go the about to but, party route. Go about the go, about no, the party yeah, route. Come on, come oh on. my gosh. Okay, We're I don't at, know. We only have a few well, minutes left I'll in the show. And, I'll try and push push this out. Is there anything that you're looking forward to also in in 2022 aside from the new lounge, which we can't wait to visit? Well, we've got a lot of things going on in France too. A lot of people don't realize. Woo! That Woo! Yeah, there, there it is. Let's go. <laughs> okay, now it's a party. I tried to time that better. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but yay! Cheers. Yeah, no, it's going to be a great year. I think we're all <laughs> eager to get out and and do things and travel again. And yeah, we've got two wineries in Burgundy, France, and we make grow and make all the wines ourselves and bring them over here for our guests and club members at the lounges. And at the winery so i've got a lot of new wines coming out like that sparkling some other wines from france and you can experience them all that's awesome us. ryan ryan i'm so sorry to cut you off We're running out of time yeah. we could talk about this all day uh but ryan harris ceo of domain serene thank you so much for being here this morning uh congratulations on the new location in ben and happy holidays we'll toast to you yeah here we go okay cheers i was just asking cheers. glass and towels <laughs> happy wine wednesday congrats on the new thank lounge you so much Cheers, Thanks for joining us, everybody. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. We'll All see right. you back tomorrow. All right. Happy Wine tomorrow. Wednesday. Stay inside. Clinkety and, uh, clink. Stay warm. Cheers. Happy holidays, everybody. There you go. There you go. Oh, I thank you. <laughs>